I may have already discussed this about fungus gnats. Uh, today's March 1st, 2014, and Sparky's still hanging in there, picky eater as ever. Uh, and I have really been blessed not to have fungus gnats after I have um, discovered that any standing water will attract them. And in, during the winter, I was really watering over watering to try to get the humidity up. So I had a horrible infestation of fungus gnats uh, at one point. So I also had springtails. And they are a little white bug, and they would leap into the uh, water dish. And so I don't know whether that that just by cutting down on the watering made the difference, or if it's because I put some coconut bark uh, around the edges of the, the um, of the watering of the water dish, and. I kept that area dry and after I did that have have a buffer zone around the water dish of the dry coconut bark then the springtails left now it may have been a coincidence it may have had nothing whatsoever to do with it but I haven't had them back since and they were a horrible worry you know because I just didn't know if I would ever get rid of them but one thing you have to learn to live with a certain amount of critters because when you bring leaves in like I can take and I can turn over these leaves and there's uh, just an ecosystem in here where there are tiny little bugs that will live in the leaves and the substrate. And at first I thought, oh my, you know, there's bugs, i got to get rid of them. And then you change out the habitat and all. And uh, they're just tiny, and I know that I can't really, I doubt that they would even show up on here. But... Um, they're just such a tiny. Well, now, actually, what you're seeing there is a little roly-poly, I believe. I have roly-polies, little baby roly-polies in here. Um, but um, you have to not be concerned. Now, Sparky, the minute he hears me moving the leaves around, he's got to see what's going on, don't you? Right away, he's like, what is she doing? Because he knows I've messed with the habitat before, and he hasn't appreciated it. So he's given me that evil eye. So, I guess it's time to call it a day.